Welcome to the Chambers Ireland Sustainable Business Impact Awards. Please welcome your compere, Mary Kennedy. Dias Mariv Illa Agus Ta Falteroiv, Wigan Ochoid Hjelwar Hussa. Good afternoon, everybody, and you're welcome to the inaugural Chambers Ireland Sustainable Business Impact Awards in association with BAM Ireland and the Department of Rural and Community Development. Now, here we are on Thursday afternoon, the 24th of September. Normally, we'd be gathering in the evening for a gala dinner, a celebration, but unfortunately, because of circumstances, we're coming to you live and virtually. Um, It's still a celebration, it's still a gala event, and I've worn my, my sparkly dress for the occasion. Now, Chambers Ireland have been running the Corporate Social Responsibility Awards for more than 16 years. In that time, many great companies with a wide range of innovative projects have received recognition at this event that have benefited the environment, communities, employees, charities and people both in Ireland and abroad. Following 16 years of the CSR Awards, 2020 marks the first year of these awards in their evolved format as the Sustainable Business Impact Awards. And this is also a first for the award ceremony to be held virtually, as I said, so that the health and well-being of those shortlisted and of us all can be protected. 2020 marks the fifth anniversary of the UN's Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, which are at the heart of the Sustainable Business Impact Awards. With this in mind, Chambers Ireland continues to encourage companies at all levels to look to the SDGs as a framework to enhance their CSR programmes. Now, the awards recognise the meaningful and the high quality work from companies through different awards categories, including excellence in environment, partnership with a charity, workplace, marketplace, communication, CSR by an SME and also diversity and inclusion. While the awards categories and entry criteria remain unchanged, Chambers Ireland believes that the new title will greatly improve the organisation's ability to evolve this concept further into the future, building on the huge success of all work of previous winning and applicant companies. This year, we're delighted to once again have BAM Ireland as our main sponsor of the awards. And I'd like to extend our welcome to the Environmental Protection Agency, who've been supporting the environment category for a number of years. Also, delighted to welcome back our sponsor, One for All, who are supporting the workplace category again this year. And we're also extremely happy to welcome back Waterford Crystal, who have sponsored and supplied the beautiful award pieces, which will be sent to the winners following today's ceremony. So thank you, Waterford Crystal, for your continued support. And on a personal level, I would like to add my own congratulations to each of the companies that have been shortlisted for these awards this year. Every year, I am so, so impressed. And I know that both the volume and the standard of applications were extremely high this year. So as such, gaining a place on the shortlist is an achievement in itself and something that everybody should be very proud of. If you'd like to get involved on social media channels today, please be sure to include the hashtag. Now, it's a bit of a mouthful, but I'm going to give it to you now. It's hashtag Sustainable Biz Impact Awards 2020 in your post. But when you start with the hashtag, it generally just presents itself. And uh, our social media team will be live tweeting throughout the afternoon. We'd encourage everyone to tweet throughout the ceremony because as we say when we're at the, the gathering in the evening, we want everybody who uh, becomes conscious of it because of the hashtag to say, hmm, I'd like to be a part of that. So even virtually, we want everybody to feel that. So now I would like to virtually welcome the newly appointed Chambers Ireland president, Mags Brennan, and Mags is going to say a few words. So our commitment to sustainable development goals has probably been longer than people realise in that we've had sustainability on the agenda for Chambers Ireland for the last couple of years. In fact, 
it's been on multiple chambers agendas. Sustainability development goals, when they came out, you know, we immediately engaged with them. Um, we immediately wanted to be involved in ensuring that they were implemented um, across Ireland and across all the communities. So we got together with all of our network of chambers and we picked five of the 17 um, SDGs to focus on because, you know, we needed to focus our energies on the five um, SDGs that really, really mattered to our network. So we did just that, but that was actually following what the UN guidelines were anyways on, you know, do your bit, whatever little bit it is. So focus on what you can and use that capability and capacity to its best. So I think what's real commitment to the SDGs is the fact that we have renamed and relaunched our CSR awards this year and called them the Sustainable Business Awards, which is, a, I think, a huge commitment. So what has really impressed me about you know, this year's awards and the companies that have you know, put in some absolutely fabulous um, entries are the programmes themselves, which are really innovative, like in a year that we need innovation. Um, we need to see resilience in business. You know, we need to see how we can actually adapt to what we've just been through and what we're going through with COVID. But what's really, really telling here is you can see the impact these programmes that, you know, some of these companies have out there is having on the communities. And that's measurable. So that's that's huge. But, you know, to me, it's the volume of entries we had this year was fantastic, but it's the quality of those entries and just the measurable impact that we can see in the community. Oh, thanks very much for tuning in today, everybody. Um, I wish we were all sitting um, in a hotel, uh, having dinner and a few glasses of wine, celebrating some of the absolutely fantastic entries that we've seen for these awards this year. But unfortunately, we've all had to adapt to, you know, the new reality for 2020. I would hope that next year we'll be back to business as usual. I'm hearing there are groups of people tuning in from offices across the country. One, because, you know, they really, really want to see their companies do well in these awards. But two, you know, the programmes that we're talking about here are fantastic and have real impact on the communities. So, you know, great to see you all. Hope to see you all in person next year. And, you know, let's say well done to everybody who've, who's entered into the awards this year. It's been fantastic. Thank you. Gormia Malgut Mags, Agus Gok Ra or the Herma Mar Uchthron Air Chambers Ireland. And uh, yes, hopefully we will all be gathered together next year and we can uh, raise a glass to the, the people who are shortlisted and the winners of the awards. Now, I would like to introduce Sinead Hickey, who's chairperson of the Chambers Ireland Sustainable Business Council. Together with the Chamber Network, Chambers Ireland have committed to supporting the development and implementation of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. They have identified five goals which they believe will enhance sustainable economic development right across Ireland. Those five goals are Goal 5, Gender Equality, Goal 8, Decent Work and Economic Growth, Goal 9, Innovation, Industry and Infrastructure, Goal 11, sustainable cities and communities. Goal 13, climate action. There are simple, straightforward ways for a company to start their SDG journey. What's really important is you start small and you'll end big, but planning that engagement is vitally important. There are a multitude of resources that can support a business in their SDG journey, both from Chambers Ireland and the Sustainable Business Council and elsewhere. Those companies already engaged in this process will already have seen the positive impact it is having on their business. Thank you very much, Sinead, and very well uh, explained the, the whole process of the, the Sustainable Business Council. Now, um, it feels very strange not to be actually sitting at the same table as uh, our good friend, Chambers Ireland Chief Executive Ian Talbot, but I want to introduce him now, and Ian is going to say a few words. We're delighted that this year so many of our stakeholders and our contributors to our Corporate Social Responsibility Awards in the past are able to join us again this year in this most unusual and exceptional of years. So we hope that next year we'll be able to run this as a full and uh, a celebration of everything that's been done for sustainability in the future. But for this year, we hope that you're enjoying this particular fashion of rolling out this event. 
We've been running the Corporate Social Responsibility Awards for the last 15 years and they were a fantastic way to get Corporate Ireland focused on corporate responsibility and we saw a huge growth both in the amount of engagement from companies and the type of engagement. But with the introduction by the United Nations of the Sustainable Development Goals in 2015, we sought in Chambers Ireland to try and make sure that we move companies forward to reflect the Sustainable Development Goals, the very important 17 goals for the future of our societies. So we felt the timing was right this year to change the awards from Corporate Social Responsibility to Sustainable Business Impact. And impact is critical this year and the judges have been looking to see the impact as well as the actual project itself. As ever, we're so grateful this year to our sponsors. Our main sponsor is BAM Ireland and also the Environmental Protection Agency, One for All, and the fabulous Crystal as ever from Waterford Crystal. So we wouldn't be able to do these awards without their support. So we are particularly grateful this year in this most unusual of formats and we hope to see them all again next year too, along with yourselves. Thank you, Ian, and well done to you and to everybody at Chambers Ireland for actually making these awards happen in these very strange times. Now, at this point, I would like to introduce Tyg Lucy of BAM Ireland, and Tyg is going to say a few words. BAM Ireland are delighted to continue our sponsorship of the Sustainable Business Impact Awards, which celebrate the innovative measures put in place by Irish business for a sustainable future. Sustainability is at the heart of everything we do in BAM. When we talk of sustainability, we think of three areas, climate change, people and resources. Globally, BAM has committed to be net positive impact by 2050 in these areas. We've made a good start by converting as many as possible of our plant fleet and our company vehicles to electric power. We know through our work we positively impact on our staff and on the communities in which we operate. Our Safety is Your Safety programme ensures the safety, health and well-being of our staff. We recently unveiled a benefit fund of half a million at the National Children's Hospital, which will be spent locally. For over 60 years, BAM has been at the centre of shaping modern Ireland, consistently leading the way for sustainable construction while delivering many of the country's iconic landmark buildings and flagship infrastructure projects. For us, being environmentally conscious and reducing our carbon footprint is interlinked with sustaining our communities and creating employment right across Ireland. We are active citizens in the areas where we live and work, and this is why we're delighted to again be this year's main sponsor of the Sustainable Business Impact Awards. Our work is based on strong collaboration with clients to develop smart and sustainable projects. These are delivered using the latest technologies with our people, our climate and our resources at the centre of operations. More than ever this year, safety and public health are top priorities. Sustainability is at the core of what we do at BAM. We are one of the few Irish companies to hold the prestigious A rating from the CDP and the only construction company to achieve this mark. Making strong, measurable commitments around carbon is an impactful way for businesses to show their environmental leadership and we would be happy to share our learnings and experience with any other businesses who wish to join us on this journey. So Gramagut Bam and thank you Tig. Now the reason we're all tuned in this afternoon we want to find out the winners of the 2020 Chambers Ireland Sustainable Business Impact Awards. This is the way that the ceremony will work. I'll give a brief introduction of each category and then we'll show some photos and video footage of each of the shortlisted projects. Then I'll announce the winner uh, before a final video of the winning initiative is shown. We have 14 awards, followed by the prestigious overall award, which will be presented to one company for their outstanding achievement in sustainable business impact 2020. So now let's begin with our first award this afternoon. Uh, we're going to take a look at the shortlist for excellence in CSR communication. Excellence in CSR communication. Abbott ESB and Irish Heart Foundation. Hands for Life Community CPR Training. Aldi Ireland. 
Aldi Ireland's sponsorship of the Irish Cancer Society Colour Dash. Dawn Meets Connect Programme. Fidelity Investments Ireland. Fidelity Cares, engaging and empowering our associates in 2019. Lidl Ireland. Lidl More for Youth, Jigsaw and Lidl Listen campaign. Tesco Ireland. Every little help makes a big difference. So those are the shortlisted companies and this is the point where normally I would tear open the envelope. But anyway, I'm pleased to announce that the winner of the Excellence in Communication is Lidl Ireland. Excellence in CSR Communication, Lidl Ireland, Lidl More for Youth, Jigsaw Lidl Listen Campaign. Through the A Better Tomorrow initiative, Lidl have partnered with Jigsaw, the National Centre for Youth Mental Health. To show their support of Jigsaw and their message, Lidl decided to switch off all marketing promotion for one full week, spotlighting only the power of listening. So congratulations to Lidl Ireland. Now our next award is the Excellence in Community Partnership with a Charity by a Large Indigenous Company. And this is the shortlist. Excellence in Community Partnership with a Charity Large Indigenous Company A&L Goodbody Supporting Life After Torture with Sparassi AIB, AIB Together Partnership with Food Cloud. Apple Green, Apple Green and Focus Ireland Youth Services. Arthur Cox. The Opening Doors Partnership with the Early Learning Initiative. Collins McNicholas Recruitment. A piece of our time for Jigsaw 2020. Deloitte. Going green with Leave No Trace. Gas Networks Ireland. Gas Networks Ireland partnership with Age Action. Permanent TSB. Permanent TSB Staff Charities Fund. Partnership with Barrettstown. So that's the shortlist and the winner of the Excellence in Community Partnership with a Charity by a Large Indigenous Company is a and Goodbody. Excellence in Community Partnership with Charity Large Indigenous Company a and Goodbody Supporting Life After Torture with Sparassi a and Goodbody partners with Sparassi, the Centre of Care for Survivors of Torture, to undertake legal reviews of medical legal reports. A&L Goodbody has supported 179 medical legal report reviews to date.
Go Gord the Gosso Cree, the ANL Good Body. The next category is Excellence in Community, partnership with a charity by a multinational company, and this is the shortlist. Excellence in Community, partnership with a charity, multinational company. Bank of America, Manon Heron, Women of Ireland Fund. Diageo Ireland, the Guinness Fund. Intel Ireland, Intel Charity Programme. KBC Bank, Skills. Sharing for Impact. Tesco Ireland, Tesco and Temple Street, the drive for 5 million euro. Well done to all of the shortlisted companies there. And the winner of the Excellence in Community Partnership with a Charity for a Multinational Company is KBC Bank. Excellence in Community Partnership with Charity Multinational Company KBC Bank Skills Sharing for Impact In early 2019, KBC and Alzheimer's Society of Ireland formed a partnership identifying areas where they could learn from one another while helping to grow their operations. This partnership has benefited both organisations, sharing skills which will serve them well into the future. So congratulations to KBC Bank. The next award is for Excellence in Environment by a large Indigenous company. And let's take a look at the shortlist. Excellence in Environment, large Indigenous company. AIB, AIB's Energy and Environmental Plan to Enable Sustainable Communities. Dawn Meets, Origin Green Sustainability Plan. Gas Networks Ireland. Biodiversity Enhancement Programme. Irish Water, Sustainable Water Services. such an important category when you're talking about sustainable business impact. And the winner of this Excellence in Environment by a large Indigenous company is AIB. Excellence in Environment, large Indigenous company. AIB, AIB's Energy and Environmental Plan to enable sustainable communities. Sustainable Communities is the fifth pillar of AIB's Refreshed Group strategy and reflects the work the bank is doing to transition to a climate-resilient, responsive business. AIB is addressing the issues of access to finance and stimulating demand to meet Ireland's climate action goals. Well done to AIB. Our next award is for excellence in environment by a multinational company and we're going to take a look at the shortlist now. Excellence in Environment, Multinational Company. Aldi Ireland, Aldi Sustainability Project. Diageo Ireland, Diageo Plastic Packaging Removal. Fidelity Investments Ireland, Green Team in Action 2019. (music) 
Intel Ireland, building sustainable communities. Tesco Ireland, reducing our carbon footprint at Tesco. Excellence in Environment, multinational company, Tesco Ireland, reducing our carbon footprint at Tesco. Tesco has a long-standing commitment to tackling climate change and an ambition to become a zero-carbon business by 2050. This work has resulted in a 24% reduction in energy use in Ireland over five years and 31% reduction in carbon emissions. So congratulations to Tesco Ireland. Now the next award is for excellence in community volunteering by a large indigenous company. So let's take a look at the shortlist. Excellence in community volunteering large indigenous company. A&L Goodbody supporting housing rights and homelessness through free legal assistance. Arthur Cox, the Arthur Cox Zambia Project. Dawn Meets, Dawn Meets Junior Achievement Ireland Project. Deloitte. Impact Volunteering, the Deloitte Experience. Airgrid, Margaret Aylward Community College Partnership. PM Group, Elevate Program. Congratulations to all of the shortlisted companies there. And the winner of the Excellence in Community Volunteering by a Large Indigenous Company is A&L Goodbody. Excellence in Community Volunteering Large Indigenous Company A&L Goodbody Supporting housing rights and homelessness through free legal assistance. A&L Goodbody lawyers attend an outreach clinic every Wednesday afternoon to support individuals and families experiencing homelessness or at risk of becoming homeless. Currently 153 solicitors are on the volunteer roster for the clinic. Now we're moving on to the next award and this is for excellence in community volunteering by a multinational company. So let's take a look at the shortlist. Excellence in community volunteering multinational company. Canada Life Reinsurance, Community First Responders. Fidelity Investments Ireland, Fidelity Cares, giving back in 2019. Horizon Therapeutics, from plant to patient. IBM Ireland and Cisco Ireland, ICU Family Link. Medtronic, Ethoscope. Medtronic Global Innovation Fellows. V 
VMware Ireland Serve, Learn, Inspire campaign. And the winner of the Excellence in Community Volunteering by a Multinational Company is IBM Ireland and Cisco Ireland. Excellence in Community Volunteering Multinational Company IBM Ireland and Cisco Ireland ICU Family Link Patients in University Hospital Galway's ICU are using specially adapted video conferencing technology to communicate with family and clinical teams. The technology and equipment was donated by Cisco and a team of IBM volunteers are on call to provide technical support to families using the service. Well, congratulations to IBM Ireland and Cisco Ireland. Now, uh, that was award number seven. So we're almost, I suppose, about at the halfway stage. And um, maybe we'd have had our main course by now if we were gathered for dinner. Um, I've realised that I haven't had to say Cunis once to uh, tables in different parts of the room. But uh, I do hope that wherever you are gathered to uh, enjoy these awards, that you're having a good time and uh, enjoying the shortlisted companies and also uh, celebrating the, the winners as they come your way virtually as well. So let's move on now and our next award is for Excellence in Community, community programme by a large Indigenous company and we're going to have a look at the shortest. Excellence in Community, community programme, large Indigenous company. A&L Goodbody, A&L Goodbody Step Up community programme. On post, address point. Apple Green, Apple Green and Irish Youth Foundation, the Blossom Fund. Bank of Ireland. Bank of Ireland COVID-19 1 million euro emergency response fund. Deloitte, the Deloitte Consulting Analyst Christmas Challenge. Gas Networks Ireland. Cooperation Ireland and Gas Networks Ireland Youth Leadership Programme. Permanent TSB, championing social entrepreneurship, a partnership with Social Entrepreneurs Ireland. Supervalue. Supervalue and As I Am Autism Friendly Towns. VHI Run for Fun. The winner of the Excellence in Community Community Programme by a large Indigenous company is on post. Excellence in Community Community Programme Large Indigenous Company on post Address Point. Address Point is a free, anonymous, nationwide service that provides a fixed address to those without a fixed home. It enables the growing homeless community of Ireland to receive regular post, be identifiable via an address and access essential services by creating a fixed proxy address at local post offices. Well, congratulations to OnPost, a great community programme. And also well done to OnPost. They really provide a lifeline for so many people in the extreme uh, days of the early lockdown. So now we're moving on and the next award is for Excellence in Community, Community Programme by a multinational company and this is the shortlist. 
Excellence in Community, Community Program, Multinational Company. Abbott, Cree on Or, our long standing commitment to our communities. Deutsche Bank, Right to Read Literacy Research Project. Heineken Ireland, Growing with Our Communities. IBM Ireland, PTEC, Pathways in Technology. Microsoft Ireland, Dream Space. Tesco Ireland. Tesco during COVID-19. Now more than ever, every little helps. Well, that's the shortlist. And the winner of the Excellence in Community, community programme by a multinational company is Microsoft Ireland. Community. Community programme. Multinational company. Microsoft Ireland, DreamSpace. Through DreamSpace, Microsoft aims to provide 100,000 primary and secondary school students and teachers with the opportunity to interact with technology. The DreamSpace Home Space series gives every student, parent and teacher the opportunity to learn new skills from home. Congratulations to Microsoft Ireland. Um, our next award is for excellence in the workplace by a large indigenous company. And we're going to take a look now at the shortlist. Excellence in workplace, large indigenous company. A&L Goodbody, A&L Goodbody Summer School, making the best use of our time. Bank of Ireland, Agile Ways of Working. Carberry Group, Carberry Ways of Working. Ervia, Work Safe, Home Safe. Scope. Scope and Child Vision, championing children's futures. Solace. Solace Workplace Choir. Well, congratulations to all of the shortlisted companies there. And it's my pleasure now to hand you over to the category sponsor, One For All, who will announce the winner in this category. We at One For All are absolutely delighted once again to be supporting Chambers Ireland and the Sustainable Business Impact Awards. The winner this year in the workplace by a large indigenous company is Solace. Excellence in Workplace, Large Indigenous Company, Solace, Solace Workplace Choir. Solace Workplace Choir was established in 2018 with the aim of improving employee well-being and to offer an alternative form of mindfulness. Since the onset of the COVID-19 crisis, the choir has continued to meet virtually on a weekly basis, which provides an opportunity for employees to catch up with colleagues in the absence of the office environment.
Well, well done to Solis and great to see that they have continued their choir right through the, the, the lockdown. Um, the next award is for excellence in the workplace by a multinational company and this is the shortlist. Excellence in Workplace, Multinational Company. Abbott, Abbott Workplace Wellbeing, empowering employees to realise their full potential. Diageo Ireland, six months paid parental leave for all Irish employees. Tesco Ireland, supporting colleague health and well-being in Tesco Ireland. VMware Ireland, VMware Ireland's virtual workplace. Well done to everybody there and once again now I'm going to hand you over to the category sponsor One For All so that they will announce the winner. One For All are pleased to announce the winners of Workplace by a multinational company and this year's winner is Diageo Ireland. Excellence in Workplace, multinational company, Diageo Ireland. Six months paid parental leave for all Irish employees. In 2019, Diageo introduced 26 weeks paid parental leave for new parents, becoming the first employer in Ireland to do so. The policy applies regardless of gender, sexual orientation, or whether employees become parents biologically, via adoption or surrogacy. Congratulations to Diageo Ireland. Now our next award is for excellence in marketplace and we're going to take a look now at the shortlist. Excellence in Marketplace AIB Vulnerable Customer Programme Arthur Cox Helping the Vulnerable and Disadvantaged Access Legal Assistance Bank of Ireland, Bank of Ireland Vulnerable Customer Unit. Tesco Ireland, Project Unwrapped, working with our suppliers to reduce plastic packaging. The award for excellence in marketplace goes to, it's a second win actually for this company, Tesco Ireland. Excellence in marketplace, Tesco Ireland, project unwrapped, working with our suppliers to reduce plastic packaging. Tesco has been working hard to reduce the use of plastics through working with suppliers to minimize packaging on its own label products. Tesco has committed to ensuring all their packaging is fully recyclable by 2025 and halving their packaging weight by 2025. So congratulations to Tesco Ireland. The next award is for excellence in diversity and inclusion and this is the shortlist. Excellence in diversity and inclusion. A and L Good Body. Dare. Daily Action, Real Equality. Bank of Ireland, Gender Balance. Dawn Meets, Dawn Meets Group Diversity and Inclusion Strategy. Deloitte Ireland, a proud LGBTI plus community year round.
Diageo Ireland, the Open Doors Initiative. VMware Ireland, VM Inclusion, Resilience and Disability Programme. And the Sustainable Business Impact Award for Excellence in Diversity and Inclusion goes to VMware Ireland. Excellence in Diversity and Inclusion, VMware Ireland, VM Inclusion, Resilience and Disability Programme. VMware works to attract, engage and celebrate employees from a wide variety of dynamic backgrounds, abilities, experiences and perspectives. This programme seeks to build resilience among their workforce and to create an accessible, supportive and open environment where employees can bring their authentic selves to work. Congratulations to VMware Ireland. The next award is for excellence in CSR by an SME. Let's take a look at the shortlist. Excellence in CSR by an SME. Kodema, Home Energy Saving Kit. Liferay International. Liferay International Refugee Programme. Merino Software. Keeping Roisin's voice alive. A big life fix by Merino. Tico Mail Works. Tico Mail Works Sustainable CSR Programme. And the winner of the Excellence in CSR by an SME is Tico Mailworks. Excellence in CSR by an SME, Tico Mailworks, Tico Mailworks Sustainable CSR Programme. Tico Mailworks Renewable Electricity Electric Car to Work Scheme provides a mechanism for all Tico Mailworks employees to own an electric vehicle and drive it using renewable energy. To date, 11 cars have been replaced by electric vehicles under this scheme, which will result in reducing the annual carbon footprint of over 40 metric tonnes of CO2 per annum. Congratulations to Tico Mailworks and congratulations to all of the category winners and the shortlisted companies in these inaugural Sustainable Business Impact Awards 2020 for Chambers Ireland. And now we have reached the highlight of the awards, the one we have all been waiting for. This is the award for Outstanding Achievement in Sustainable Business Impact 2020. The Outstanding Achievement in Sustainable Business Impact Award goes to a company that has most clearly developed a strategic approach to CSR and has embedded CSR in the company's culture and business operations, showing a commitment in rising to the challenge of implementing more sustainable business practices. Furthermore, with the disruptive impact of COVID-19 across Ireland and globally, in various facets of society and business, all companies in today's shortlist have shown incredible tenacity in meeting key criteria in the judging process. Each of the companies shortlisted for the overall award participated in an additional rigorous judging process which involved making a formal presentation to a panel of judges and an in-depth question and answer session on their CSR work and their long-term CSR strategy. Now every company on this shortlist demonstrated passion, hard work and enthusiasm for their company's CSR work to the judges and every company has a strategic approach to the implementation of their CSR programmes. So being shortlisted for the Outstanding Achievement Award is a massive achievement in itself and I at this stage would like to congratulate each of the five nominated companies. And this year the shortlist for the Outstanding Achievement in Sustainable Business Impact Award is 
A&L Good Body, AIB, Diageo, Tesco Ireland and VMware Ireland. Now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, I'm going to hand you over to the category sponsor, BAM Ireland, uh, who will announce the winner of the 2020 Outstanding Achievement in Sustainable Business Impact Award. And the winner is... AIB. At AIB, we're absolutely thrilled to have won this award. We regard it as an endorsement of the work we've done to date, but it's a huge encouragement to us as we move further along the path of creating an ever more sustainable business and contributing to the sustainability of the societies in which we operate and which we serve. Sustainability sits at the very, very heart of our business strategy. The governance around sustainability in the organisation is led from the board and runs the, right the way through the organisation to the very, very front line. We've been doing very significant work in recent years in terms of the economic and social goals. And more recently, we have been doing additional work in relation to the climate action goals. Uh, we already have a very, very strong commitment to the communities that we serve. That's evidenced by the fact that we're present in communities the length and breadth of the island. We've special focus on our responsibility to our most vulnerable customers and of course we have a relationship with the GAA a, uh, over the course of the past 25 years in supporting them at club and county level. We have a long history of supporting the SDGs over the course of the last quarter of a century and uh, we had a particular focus obviously on the social and economic uh, elements of those goals. In recent years, we've expanded our focus to include climate action, which is such a pressing issue for our country and indeed for the world. And we've been working not only on minimizing our own carbon footprint, but also working with our customers to assist them as they contribute to Ireland's transition to a lower carbon future. We also, of course, have a long record of investing in quality education at both second level and also in universities and of course we have a long-standing commitment to the communities that we serve the length and breadth of the island with a particular focus on looking after our very most vulnerable customers so the advice that i would give to other companies who are seeking to make a greater impact in terms of the sustainability agenda is to ensure that this is leadership led the tone is set by the board and the executive committee, and dare I say so, uh, by the chief executive officer. You have to have very, very clear, ambitious plans, ambitious targets, tangible targets, that are communicated right the way through the organization. And sustainability can't be an adjunct. It can't be a separate department or group within your organization. It has to be embedded in everything that we do, and everybody needs to recognize that they have a role to play. Well done and congratulations to AIB and once again can I say congratulations to all of the category winners and all of the shortlisted companies today. Thank you again to you for being your participation in this afternoon's event and at this point before we finish off the, the formalities normally um, at the award ceremony we're finishing the formalities and then going and maybe having a drink in the bar but anyway we're going to finish the formalities by thanking everybody who made this virtual 2020 event such a success our partners the department of rural and community development our kind and generous sponsors bam ireland our category sponsors the environmental protection agency and one for all and our crystal sponsor Waterford Crystal. And given the unusual circumstances of this year's awards, a special mention and thank you must go out to our production team, Courtyard, who have gone above and beyond to make the event a tremendous success under very difficult conditions. I'd like to say thank you to Tig and Bill, who are here in the studio with me and who have ensured that this uh, event has run very calmly and very smoothly and kept me calm and smooth as well. Uh, also, thank you all, the companies that make such a valuable contribution to their community. 
Next year's Sustainable Business Impact Awards will be launched in early 2021 and we look forward to hopefully seeing you all again in person to continue to acknowledge and celebrate the best practice work in sustainable business impact which is taking place by companies all over Ireland and hopefully as uh, Mags and Ian said that we'll be able to break bread together and uh, raise a glass to the shortlisted and the winning companies. Until then Keep up the good work. Congratulations, everybody, and stay safe. Gur mila mila magwiv as vahan sotranona agus slanagwiv galer.